Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna go over the differences between our crown clip-in extensions and our crown extensions, the halo style. Many of you contact us all the time asking what's the difference, which one should I choose, and we're gonna go over all the details in this video. So the first thing I wanna go over is the actual difference in the way these two extensions are designed. So the crown extension, the halo style, is an, an entire head of hair, human hair, on one single filament. There are eight to nine wefts sewn on to the lace backing in a layered fashion that makes it all in one spot. There's also no attachment to your hair strands or your scalp, which makes it a damage-free extension. How awesome is that? So now the crown clip-in, to talk about that design, it's on clips. It's your traditional clip-in extension set. And there are three tracks that come in a crown clip-in extension set. And the first longest has four wefts sewn onto the lace backing with three clips. So there's only four wefts sewn onto this track. And then your two side tracks have three wefts on each with three clips as well. And the crown clip-ins actually attach to your hair strands near the root area and then are secured with the clip attaching onto your hair strands where you decide to place it on your head. Another difference between these two extensions would be how the hair lays on your head when you're wearing them. The crown extension is even volume from side all the way around to the other side, making it very even from the front all the way around to the back. And the extension sits in only one spot on your head. And the way that the crown clip-ins are applied on the head are up to you. You can layer them wherever on your head that you would like. It can create a slight layering for you. And because you're placing the tracks in different areas on the head, you have to kind of more so depend on your own even volume so that they are applied in an even manner to increase the volume in an even way. So to talk about the volume difference, it's a big difference because of the way that these are applied on the head and how they're designed. The crown extension is a full head evenly from side to side and around on one extension. So this one here is the Daydream 14 inch and it's 100 grams of hair volume total. And so you would think that comparing it with our 14 inch crown clip-ins, which are a total of 90 grams of human hair, there is a big difference, even though there's only 10 grams difference, which isn't much in volume, hair volume, but it's because of the way that these are applied on the head and they're in three different extension tracks that are placed in three different areas on your head, the volume can be different in terms of how it looks comparison side by side especially if you're going with a longer length with the crown clip-ins. If you go with a four inch or more difference in hair length compared to your hair, you're going to most likely need two sets of crown clip-ins to fill in that volume between your hair length and the ends of the longer length that you purchase. The crown extension is a little more forgiving as far as hair volume and filling out your own volume because it's all on one single filament and it sits on the head in one spot. So another thing I wanna to touch on is the options and limitations as far as hairstyling goes. The crown extension, due to how it's designed to be worn on the head and it not having any attachment to your hair or scalp, it's going to have a little more limitations as far as what you can do hairstyling wise. 
For instance, with the Halo style extension, it's harder to achieve a high, high ponytail or a high bun, in a sense, wearing it the way it's supposed to be worn. It's difficult because it's not attached. So when you bring the hair up, the extension comes up too and it can kind of bunch. Now that's not to say that the crown extension, Halo style extension, cannot be worn in updos because they absolutely can. The difference is, is the fact that with updos, you have your own hair on top laying over the crown extension that is able to be used for more of the up style up on top of your head. And then the crown extension can be manipulated with bobby pins and curls and other hair accessories to keep it secure going up into the updo. So you absolutely can do updos with any hidden crown hair extension, but you are more limited with the crown extension for something such as a very high ponytail or high um, anything on the top of your head, such as a bun or something like that, unless you were to wrap the extension around a style on the top of your head, not wearing it the way it's designed to be worn. Now when it comes to the crown clip and extensions, you have much more freedom and there's really hardly any limitations as far as any hairstyle goes using this set of extensions. The reason being is because it actually attaches and you can actually attach it wherever you want. You can attach it, you know, upside down to make the hair go up into a high hairstyle. Um, I mean, the options are literally, there's hardly any limitations when it comes to clip-in hair extensions as far as any hairstyling goes. Now, another difference is the lengths that these uh, two different extensions are offered in. Our crown clip-ins come in pretty much the most variety of hair lengths. We have anywhere from 14 inch all the way up to 22 inch available. And our halo style extensions, our crown extensions, they are a little different. We have three different types which you can check out our other videos on the details of our crown extensions and the differences between those three types. But they come in our hidden crowns, 12 inch, 16 inch, and 20 inch. Our daydream comes in 14 inch and 18 inch. And our hidden crown layers comes in 18 inch and 22 inch. Great news, they all come in all 27 colors that we offer. So you are able to mix and match and wear them together perfectly in the same color that you purchase one in. So there's one other thing I wanna to touch on in the differences between the crown clip-ins and the crown extension, and that's the security of each. A lot of people tend to automatically think that the crown extension, the halo style extension, is not very secure and that it will fall off of your head or it moves or, you know, tons of different things. You have to consider that there is no attachment to your hair or scalp. But that does not mean that it's not a very secure extension. As long as the, the crown extension is properly fitted to your individual head shape, and it's properly applied when wearing it, you can wear it all day long without any issues or challenges of it coming off. Now, obviously there are things that you don't wanna do while wearing the crown extension, such as sleeping in it, swimming in it, or throwing your head upside down with force or just tipping your head upside down. Obviously, it's probably not going to stay on and secure if you were to do something in those type of actions. But other than that, you can dance the night away in it. You can pretty much do your normal day-to-day -day activities wearing the crown extension. Now, touching on the security of the crown clip-ins, Obviously, you would think that there's going to be more security in wearing a clip-in hair extension set because the clips attach to your hair strands, but you also are risking, um, if they're not properly applied, them being pulled out or sliding out of your hair. So there's always a risk when it comes to wearing human hair extensions. It's just 
It's just a fact. It's just a matter of what you feel comfortable with. And when it comes to something like a brand new extension design that is flooding, you know, the internet like insanely. It's so it's such a great extension design. You know, there there are reasons why it is such a successful extension on the market nowadays because it is secure and people are wearing them every day all day long without any issues. And the same thing goes for the crown clip-ins or your clip-in extensions. And so there's always a risk, but as long as you're wearing them properly, you shouldn't have any issues and you should enjoy gorgeous natural hair every day. We hope you found this video to be very helpful and it answered all your questions. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via email at accounts at hiddencrown.com. Make sure to find us on our other social media platforms below and check out these videos that correlate with the video you just watched.